So Sarah ended up blessing me with a great birthday present. No screaming kids, no girlfriend that acts like she wants to be there. I get to go to the Pro Football Hall of Fame in Myrtle Beach. It's just me and legends of the past. And I'm gonna go check it out, film a little bit inside if I'm allowed. Let's go check it out. Okay, so right in here, this is where you're kind of walking up to the Hall of Fame. Uh, it's out on the uh, like boardwalk, I guess. It's right here, as soon as you walk in, they got the, like the first Super Bowl. I, you know, I kind of look to the left, look red iron glory, I'm kind of looking to the right, and this is what you see as soon as you walk in. It's pretty neat, man. I'm just kind of taking it all in at once and just kind of seeing what's around. As I'm kind of going through uh, a little museum here, that, uh, this is kind of showing off some of the first like uniforms and helmets. We got like a world champion's jacket. And as you move on, you know, you see kind of like first football and trophy. And there's like the Leatherheads top helmet. Um, it's showing, uh, I guess it's like the Colts uh, showing some of their stuff. Like the, uh, super early years, four trailblazers. Right here, check this out. Uh, imagine the jerseys like this now. It's like you're wearing a diaper. I mean, uh, you know, I guess it would tuck very well. It's kind of showing the uh, the jerseys that they kind of moved on to, and then uh, the refs. Uh, right here, they're kind of showing how big their arms are in some of these players. You know, I was going to flex right next to them, but, you know, I kind of hate showing off, so I didn't do that. This right here, to me, <clears throat> dude, it was by far, like, one of the coolest parts. Well, I guess this is the best part to me, because you got all this stuff. It's actually, like, game-worn jerseys, helmets. Um, I think there were... Some gloves. Uh, I swear, I think there was Marvin Harrison's uh, gloves in here. So, Johnny Unitas, Joe Namath, there's Marvin Harrison. Uh, I thought his gloves were in there. Maybe they're elsewhere. So, we got some Packers stuff. Walter Payton, which, you know, who likes the Bears? No one. Packer, more Packers stuff. We got Ben Roethlisberger. I mean, dude, I mean, Barber. I mean, look at all this stuff. You got Warner, Favre. And this is like game worn stuff. It tells like when they wore the jerseys. This is the whole outfit. You got shoe, you got the cleats down here. There's some gloves right there. Steve Smith Senior's gloves and shoes. Football. I mean, some of this stuff is signed. I mean, it's just phenomenal what they have. Charles Woodson honored in two thousand and nine. Right there. We got a jer jersey of Charles Woodson. So, you know, of course, being a Packers fan, I love this stuff. Right there, we've got Tom Brady. Right there, a winning combination. Bill Belichick and Tom Brady have become one of the most successful coach-player tandems in the NFL. Just kind of talking about some of their stuff. Like, there's like a warm-up jacket. Strahan. All this stuff is like official. So I can't even imagine, like, going to... Canton, Ohio, I think it's where the actual Hall of Fame is, but this is uh, something really cool to just kind of check out when we're at Myrtle Beach anyway, so, but this was, I spent a lot of time in here, this is by far my favorite part, as you can see, I'm just kind of going through here, checking out each individual jersey, and things like that, Warner, reading some stuff about it, right here we got Rondé Barber, I mean, just just awesome. And you can just kind of see as I'm going through here. And they had a lot of cool stuff like this in there. Right there. We got some plays from Bill Belichick. Let's see about this Packers one. We got Ben Roethlisberger. Terry Bradshaw. Walter Payton. I mean, I'm no Bears fan, but, I mean, you got to respect Walter Payton. I mean, this was just by far the coolest things um, in here. And eventually, I think I get over here to Marvin Harrison here in just a second. Green Bay Packers won the first two Super Bowls. How cool. Bart Starr, man. I hear Marvin Harrison. He's like one of my favorite wide receivers ever. So this was... Like, my favorite thing right here. So I may be wrong on this. I think this is from when 
Marvin Harrison broke the most, I want to say most receptions in a season, possibly, is what that was from. There's uh, Super Bowl footage, like on one of the reels, and it's kind of showing you, here's some clips and stuff all around you. You know, like I said, it'd be cool, um, they'll demonetize it, it'd be cool if I could, you know, uh, have the clips on here and the music that's playing, you ha you've got the NFL theme music, and this is it kind of starting up as it's going around you. By far the coolest spot, just all together, so... Okay, so as, as you walk outside of it, over on the left, you've got the replay booth, which you can go in and check out some of the replays. Here we go. <laughs> We're checking the replay. Let's see. Oh, this is cool, man. My head's small. I'm gonna fix that. We should say. Oh, here we go, me, me, me. Oh, they're talking to me. No. <laughs> I've got 60 seconds to make a decision. Okay, here we go. I gotta choose three plays and I have to make a decision whether it was a touchdown or not. <laughs> okay, so right after that I went actually went back and I wanted to get a close up of Marvin Harrison's uh, jersey here. Marvin Harrison broke Herman Moore's record of 123 single season receptions. And he tallied what 143 it said. And then also they've got, uh, I think it was Drew Brees and then Peyton Manning's I checked out here. Yeah, here we go. Here's uh, Drew Brees, it's an, uh, then NFL single season record for passing yards, 5,476. 5, so there's his jersey when he broke that. And then Peyton Manning's. So his Broncos uniform earned uh, his record fifth MVP during the 2013 season. So that's really cool, man. Those are my three favorite in there. So right here, uh, this is kind of showing some of the uh, greatest finishes that they've got recorded. Uh, you know, it didn't have everything. I think I thought of a couple, uh, but it's just got uh, some a select few. And you can kind of see, uh, of course, I clicked the Titans. I'm from Tennessee, so I like the Titans. And this was the Music, Music City Miracle. And I remember this as a kid, man, uh, back in, uh, I think, 99. And Kevin Dyson takes it to the house, and this is how we go to the Super Bowl. You know, of course, ultimately uh, ended up losing, ended up losing that Super Bowl by, you know, one yard. <laughs> and they even talked about it on the movie Castaway. But you know, this will, I mean, this will go down in forever. It's one of the greatest finishes. So it was pretty cool to check out. And then this next one, okay, we've got. I oh, mean, it's it, it's always like Niners and Packers, you know, playing in the playoffs. Seems like we can't ever get past the freaking 49ers, though. <laughs> They've got our number. There you go. We said uh, Terrell Owens, right? Yeah, of course. And last one. I remember being at my buddy's house and watching this. Um, I think it's when Tebow threw to Demarius Thomas and ended up beating the Steelers. You know, if you guys can, if you see this video and think of some other fantastic finishes, be sure to uh, drop it in the comments, man. I watch a lot of, f lot of football, so... Uh, I'm sure I know which one you're referring to. Uh, here we go. We got uh, Mike Thomas, Hail Mary catch glove. It's pretty neat. Dwayne Thomas's helmet and uh, Demarius Thomas's helmet. Just a bunch of different stuff pieced together in here. And check this out. Actually, it's uh, not only is M Matthew Stafford's uh, jersey. Look at it. It's ripped. I mean, how awesome is that? And they've got it hanging in there. His record jersey. Pretty cool stuff, man. And check this out here. Tom Dempsey's kicking shoe. Imagine trying to kick with that thing. <laughs> I mean, crazy, dude. I mean, how wild is that? Game ticket. Look at that. That's like the start of the Patriots dynasty, isn't it? 
John Elway. So right here, you can kind of see uh, how big the quarterback's hands are on the football and how they grip it. And there you go. Look, Warren Moon's more in the middle. There's my tiny hands. Yeah, I got kitten hands, so they don't match up very well. But I think this last one, uh, it's Aaron Rodgers. Look, it's like right on the edge of the football, you know. It's pretty neat to check out. So next is this little contraption. They tried to come up with the dry footballs during rainy weather. Apparently, it wasn't a good idea. I don't imagine how this would work, but, you know, I'm kind of showing that off. Uh, next here, we got, like, a radio-equipped helmet. Maybe this is, like, uh, the first, you know, kind they, they use to kind of experiment with. So right here, man, this is uh, kind of a flashback to the show uh, Sports Science, man. And Megatron, he was one of my favorite wide receivers, man. I remember the day I traded for him in our fantasy football league that's been going on for about 10 years. And uh, it was pretty neat kind of checking this out. I used to watch this on ESPN when I was younger, back in high school. Right here, it's showing some career records. Like, uh, right here to the side, we've got Emmett Smith's uh, helmet coming up. So right here, it's it's got his helmet up at the top. Uh, got a little play. I think it's a like a few play designs uh, when he became became the uh, all time leading rusher. Look at that; it's pretty neat. And it's pretty cool seeing all this stuff just in in real person, man. And next here we got like single season or. Yeah, single season records, I'm pretty sure. I think this is Joey Bosa's, like, 19, 19 sacks. I'm pretty sure it says. Uh, yeah, he got it against uh, Tom Brady, actually. So, right here, Barry Sanders, man. Uh, when he got the 2,000-yard jersey, pretty cool. December 21st, 97. Chris Carr's record-setting year. There's his shoes, man. I mean, that's the shoes he wore. How insane, you know? I think this stuff is awesome, man. Not to sound like a hardcore sports nerd, but dude, I am, man. I mean, I love this. All right, so right here, after checking out uh, everything at the bottom, I'm going upstairs, and they've got uh, quite a bit up here, too. Uh, so you can kind of see, uh, it's not a full level, as you can see, it's uh, kind of open in the middle, but you just kind of walk around the, the side there, and they've got some things uh, lined up. So look at this. you got these uh, three Gilbert Brown, and this is like their thigh, man, how big it is. Like, look at that. That's my tiny arm compared to the width of it, and then, of course, everybody knows the bus. There he is. It's, I mean, that's wild, dude. These guys are huge. There's Leonard Davis, and then, of course, the bus, Jerome Bettis. So just kind of showing off some of the coolest things I thought up here. So right here, Cheesehead, man, Packers. Uh, we got a Madden 97, you know, old school. I don't know, what is that, for computer or something? You know, look at this, first fantasy football. Terry Bradshaw, fantasy football, man. How neat. And then Wheaties box. Right here, this is kind of all about the Patriots, but uh, check this out to the side. They got the uh, Tom Brady draft card. The Super Bowl program, talking about the Patriots dynasty, continues into the 2010s. I mean, this stuff is really cool to show off. And right there, I was, I was kind of noticing that it said that. So I'm kind of looking up. There's some cleats and stuff from the dynasty. Right there it is. Tom Brady draft card, round six. Here we go. We got a Gronk jersey. I loved having Gronk in fantasy. It's pretty cool, man. So right here, it's talking about uh, dynasties throughout the years. So it's got a list. You know, you got the Bears, uh, Browns, of course, Packers. Yeah, I swear, I think they were, yeah, there was a screen, so you can, uh, like, click each one and and it kind of talks about uh, those dynasties and things like that. So it was pretty cool to check out.
And of course, you got the most notable. We went ahead and clicked the Patriots. And there, it's kind of showing that off. There's Bill Belichick. Their team celebrating. Tom Brady, he's getting drafted. Gronk. I mean, dude, just crazy to see. And right here, we've got, I think it's Dallas Cowboys. Yeah, they're kind of showing off their uh, stuff from the 90s. Uh, they're uh, well over here, San Francisco 49ers. You know, of course, being a Packers fan, not a big uh, fan of the 49ers, but, I mean, come on, who doesn't love Jerry Ross? And look at this. The maker in his records, Jerry Ross, certificate, touchdowns, re uh, receptions, receiving yards, touchdowns, in a season. Jerry Ross. I mean, it's just insane. And so right here we got the Packers. It's kind of talking about their dynasty. It's kind of like a real early – you know, look, 29, 31, Green Bay Packers. And uh, here's football. Look at this little play here. You know, pretty neat just to kind of see the, the history, especially, you know, being a Packers fan. So I want to show off that a little bit. Hall of Fame fullback, Jim Taylor's Green Bay Packers jersey. Right there it is. So. And speaking of being a Packers fan, check this out. We got a replica of Brett Favre's Hall of Fame ring of excellence. That's pretty neat. But there it is. So kind of going down through here, there's kind of like a showcase. Here's a, a gold jacket. It's just kind of like right up here. There you go. And uh, we got Ed Reed, uh, Roger Staubach, Game Warren, Dallas Cowboys jersey and helmet. And there's an Ed Reed jersey, Staubach. There's the helmet. It reads, record-setting interception, football, and jersey. How wild is that? Return for a touchdown, 107 yards, Ed Reed. Here we go. Got Dawkins, Gonzalez. Look at that. You got a signature on the shoes there. Right here, here we go. John Elway, game worn, Denver helmet. Throwback uniform. Kind of showing that off a little bit. Warren Sapp's game worn jersey. Man, I like I like Warren Sapp. Look at that. It's so cool. Replica Nike Air Jordan 9 cleats. There's a replica of them, so. Game worn Atlanta Falcons jersey. Game worn 1000 catch cleat. And he signed it. Right there, it's in Myrtle Beach at the Football Hall of Fame. Right here, I'm kind of getting towards the end. I'm kind of showing your looking over uh, just everything where I was at. Champions Theater, that's where I was showing off, like the Marvin Harrison jersey, things like that. This is like an individual, like, player Hall of Fame. So you can kind of see their highlights and talks about them. And, of course, a good wide receiver, some of my uh, favorite players, Marvin Harrison, of course. Check it out, Marvin Harrison, class of 2016. And it's kind of talking about him right here. Uh, next, I think I go for Randy Moss. Yeah, Randy Moss. He's probably my all-time favorite. I mean, dude, he was so great to watch. I, just, I wish he would have played with uh, Brett Favre with the Packers, man. He dominated with Tom Brady and the Patriots. And I think we got one last one here. And, of course, Megatron. So I love Megatron. Overall in the 2007 I just wish he would have played with I wish he would have played with Aaron Rodgers. So that's kind of it. Uh, you kind of go downstairs, you turn left, and you're out of it. So now. I just got out of the Pro Football Hall of Fame. I'm heading back now. Dude, it was awesome. I've never been to Canton, Ohio to watch Earth to check out the Hall of Fame. And I've always wanted to go, but, you know, it's just a, it's like a five or six hour drive away from us. So I have to plan a big thing. Anyway, Myrtle Beach, man, it's just as good. I mean, you know, not just as good, but you know, if you're here you and you love football, we're, we're big into fantasy. We've been in the league for more than a decade. It's really cool to check out, man. They got like uh, the Marvin Harrison stuff. That tripped me out, man. It's got like his jersey and stuff in there. I love stuff like that. Had a good time. Uh, but yeah, that was it. Thanks for checking it out, if you did, so.